Hello and welcome back to my channel, Show Wizards. Uh, Farming Simulator 2019 and Animal Husbandry. I'm going to take a look at how we can put that into the map uh, as kind of a semi prefab setup. Now I'm going to be using the Giants, edit, uh, Giants um, Animal Husbandry placeables for this particular video, nothing custom or anything like that. Um, I was going to go down the route of building up some sort of custom setup and then I thought well let's get to that some point but for now just going to work with the um, standard placeables that we get in the game and how to get them into a map at the start of a new game save. So I've come into game to start with, uh, normally I start in the editor but this time I've come into game because with the animal husbandry uh, it doesn't matter whether you're, whether you're working with cow, sheep, pig, whatever uh, it has a lot more attributes to work with because obviously it requires food and water and straw and all that other stuff uh, there's a little bit more information that needs to be added into the default items XML if you just put the location and rotation for the position of wherever you want it to spawn into the map at a new game save it's not going to understand what you're asking of it because of all that information that's going to be left out to do with how much food and straw and so on it does or does not have so the only way I know how to do this within the placeable system that we now have in the game is to actually come into game to start with um, and then place down the animal husbandry anywhere on the map doesn't matter where it is so what I'm going to do is um, I'm not sure if I've got enough money but uh, we'll see how we go so let's just do just about I think uh, we'll work with the cow pasture this is the small one it would be the same if you were working with the larger one but obviously you need to create a slightly larger area for it to fit into and whatever else so I'm going to work with the smaller one just because I don't have enough money to buy the bigger one so I'm going to basically um, find an area now I've created a bit of an area over here somewhere and uh, it doesn't look like I own the land so I'm just going to purchase some land and then I'll come back and we'll continue So clearly there you do need to own the land before you can obviously put the placeable down. That's just part of the game mechanic to do with this new farmland uh, system, which is fine. Uh, so now that I've actually gone ahead and done that, I should be able to put this down. I've actually given myself a bit more money. So I can work with either of these, doesn't really matter. We'll use the, the large one now that I've actually got some money to do that with. So just put it down anywhere you can on the map. Doesn't Like I said, it doesn't matter where you put it so we'll put it down like so and then once it's actually placed um you know we're good to go there so this is what we would t potentially end up with in a new game save um once all of the parts are joined together and it's completed so you would not have to purchase it it would be there at the start of a new game save that's the idea anyway so now that i've actually put it on the map what i'm going to do is save the map and this is really important save your game uh, position where you are so I'll go ahead and do that and then what I'm going to do is quit out of the game and I'll show you how we can join all those parts together okay so once you've come back out again then what you need to do is go into your save game folder and then into the items.xml and in here the information will be stored for where you actually placed that particular animal husbandry in the map so what I can do then is take all of this information here make sure you only get what you need there from the items to items or item to item including all of the relevant information for whichever husbandry setup you're going to work with now I haven't got a lot in here because I've deleted most things from this sample mod map but if you're working with a different map this might be full up with lots of different things so you'll just need to either do a search for it or scroll through and find what you need to find so basically I can just copy this information out of here then I go back into my um, sample mod map here go into the default items and I can then add that in so if I create some lines here just to split everything up a little bit so you can see it clearly I can then paste that into there uh, this particular path file name you don't need to change that if you're working with the um, Giants own in-game placeables if it was a modded one then you potentially would have to point it into the right place for your mod directory or wherever you're going to put it um, and what we're going to do is save this 
I can close that save game down and close this down for now. And then what I will do is go into the actual map itself in the editor. And then the procedure is pretty much exactly the same as uh, all of the other placeable stuff. You now need to actually import it into the map and then um, place it where you want it to spawn in. So if you're going to create a, an animal area, for example, you would build up the area with the trees and hedges and grass and dirt and whatever else you want to put down there. Then import the actual animal husbandry. So if I come into here and then just go file import, um, I'll go into my installation folder uh, under placeables and then animal husbandry. Obviously make sure you're working with the same one that you took the information from. So husbandry cow large. So I'm going to import that in and I can just go control B and place it on the map where I particularly want it to be. Um, and then once you've actually done all of that, the next step is relatively straightforward. So all you need to do then is just like I've done for all of the other videos so far, take your attributes, translate XYZ, rotate XYZ and apply that to the um, default items XML. So come back into the sample mod map here reopen up the default items XML <clears throat> and where you've got your position and rotation here you can then just apply that those changes accordingly so I can just copy this information and bring it straight into the XML here so just to like so And then you can adjust any of the parts you want to actually set up in here. So if you wanted to start off with a certain amount of animals uh, or whatever else, you could change some of the uh, parts in here to do with that um, and then give them food and whatever from directly within here. So it just makes it a little easier to kind of set things up a little bit. Um, just trying to see. It doesn't actually say in there what I can tell age price how many animals there actually are so you probably would have to purchase some for that attribute to then be shown up in the actual save game items XML so when you place it in the map if you wanted to start off your map with a cow husbandry already progressing with X amount of animals and they all have their own you know um, certain amount of food in each one then you probably have to buy those animals in game then save your progress um, and then take that information from the save game items XML and that would include the the system would then generate that extra information to tell you how many animals you have um, and all the rest of it and you can then adjust the field types of whatever food and water they would start a new game safe with but if you just want literally an empty animal husbandry on your map, then this is probably the best way to do it, I think. Um, and like I say, everything else there is just going to link in where it needs to be. The only, only thing you really need to change is the position and rotation for wherever you have decided to put it on your particular map. So once you've actually got all of that set up, you can go ahead and delete it from the map again. Um, I will save. But if you've not made any further changes, you could just close down the, edit, uh, the editor. It's no problem. Um, but obviously if you've created your area and put your trees and your hedges and whatever else and possibly additional fences or whatever else, I don't know, um, then you would obviously want to save that progress. So I'll go ahead and save the XML now then <clears throat> and close all that down. Um, and you're pretty much good to go because everything is linking directly back to the installation folder. So there's no extra texture files. You don't have to even do any kind of um adjustments to the xml because it's literally all pointing back to the installation folder for the game so it can use this standard xml here um, and then generate what it needs to generate so what i'll do is i'll go back into game and we'll just check that it, that it actually does show up and uh, all the parts function as they should do okay so let's just see um if that have worked quick and easy way is to actually just go into your escape menu here uh, because I haven't purchased the area it's probably not going to show up uh, but it does show up on the map itself K 
cow pasture and I can then teleport directly to it so it is all here um, our gates do open we do have the actual triggers all set up and everything else so you know you can now go ahead and purchase your animals or whatever else um, and you know do what you need to do um, but uh, and now that I've purchased an animal it does show up in the actual menu here so and if I actually go into the system here and bring up the lands I don't own this land so um, as a single player um, even though I don't own the land I'm still able to actually use the cow husbandry uh, placeable uh, as a imported kind of prefab setup um, you know starting with this in a new game safe so for single player use this could potentially be a good thing because you could have um, an animal husbandry area on the map that you could use even though you don't actually physically own the land around it so you know if you wanted to kind of get a bit of a head start with your animals this is a good way of actually getting it into a map um, and uh, kind of setting it up from there now I'm not entirely sure um, there are some things that could potentially cause some problems if you don't own the land um, you know you'd have to test this out and actually give them all the required um, feed and whatever else uh, because obviously you don't own the land it might not tip into the trigger I'm not sure on that um, I guess what I could do uh, let's just test a couple things out because um, if I come over to here I'm curious myself to see if this would actually work or not so if I uh, let's get some money going on first of all because I haven't got any money so we'll do something like that and then if I come over to the um, trigger here we'll just get a telehandler and we'll buy that and let's get a bale fork and some bales so if I do a straw bale I'm just going to do one don't really need to do more than that and I'll do a hay bale <clears throat> we'll just test those I'm not going to get into testing a million different things here I just want to see if they will actually accept any of the products even though we don't own the land now in a multiplayer scenario I'm not entirely sure how that works I don't have a multiplayer server that I can upload this stuff to to test unfortunately I may look into buying one um, or getting one I should say just to cover all the bases kind of thing so I can test stuff in a multiplayer scenario for you guys but uh, the last server I had the only person that ever played on it was me <laughs> so I was paying paying quite a lot of money to play in single player seemed a bit pointless but uh, we'll see so if I come on over um, I'm pretty sure that the straw trigger does contain the ability to accept bales I don't see why it wouldn't so let's just drop that into there and uh, of course it doesn't <clears throat> or is it because I don't own the land I'll tell you what we'll do then is I'm just going to go back over and get the hay bale and I'll see if that's accepted in the um, in the food trough and that will give me a slightly better indication as to whether it's actually taking any of the uh, food types or not I've only just started to um, mess about uh, with the animal stuff so I'm not sure what triggers are set up on the actual um, troughs or whatever but uh, it would seem a little bit weird that you couldn't give the cows straw in bale form it would be a little bit uh, weird but you never know so let's just see if it will actually accept this bale in one of these triggers I do think that uh, in previous versions even if it was on the spike as soon as you put it close to the trigger it would disappear but now it has to actually be off of the spike the bale spike 
for it to um, register that uh, is actually a bail or whatever and it will be accepted so from that I'm going to assume then that there is no um, bail destruction trigger for the straw so it must be put in by has to be put in loose uh, what I might do I don't know if this will work but we'll try it let's see um, I'll pick this bail back up again if I can I'm just going to see if it will actually accept it in the food trough instead. Again, I'm not entirely, I'm not 100% sure on how the uh, the game recognises all the different parts as of yet. So might do it, might not. We'll see. So let's tip this. Yeah, no. So that's a no then. Uh, so it looks like, from what I can tell that uh, the actual straw trigger will only accept loose straw which is a bit weird I don't know why that would be the case but hey ho whatever perhaps maybe um, let's see uh, where are straw bales straw blower that one maybe that one Let's just test this out while we're here. Why not? Uh, damn phone. Um, let's do... <clears throat> that'll do. Alright, so let's just go and um, try this out. So, might as well use that bail as it's there. So let's grab this. See how this works. I, I must admit, I'm not really um, a big fan of bales, so I generally do pick up stuff with a loading wagon, so it's loose. So anything I've done with the animals, uh, when it comes to straw, has always been in loose form anyway. So um, I don't have any loose straw to test, so I figured I would just try a bale. But clearly, that is not. Uh, seem to want to play the game there so right let's just see if we can get this into here apologies for my uh, driving skills and whatever else I'm not the greatest with any of this stuff right let's try that so um, let's see what happens I haven't used one of these in a while I'm right, going to have to bring up the F1 menu for this because I don't actually know how this works. Uh, open door. Do I have to have the door open then for it to work? That seems a bit. Okay. So let's close the door then. And there we go. Okay, so bales do work, but you have to use one of these things, snow blower, uh, I mean a straw blower, to actually make it work. Awesome. So yeah, okay, well, uh, clearly I don't have to own the land, so, you know, again, in a single player scenario, you could potentially have this set up in a map, um, and, you know, start working with animals straight away wherever that might be on the map um, without having to own any of the land so it could give you a bit of a head start with that uh, and give you access to liquid manure and manure and whatever else a little bit earlier on in the game uh, which potentially could be a good thing I guess because um, obviously with the placeable mechanic and terraforming and whatever else you have to own the land you have to have a good enough area to place it down that's not going to mess up all your fields and whatever else um, and uh, restrict your access to 
various different places that is, is that actually ever going to stop that thing oh, there we go. <laughs> just spewing out straw <laughs> forever and ever um, anyway we have it in the map at uh, a new game start uh, so you know like I said this is the only way I know how to do it by placing it in the map in game and then just taking the data from the save game items XML uh, and then applying that to your default items XML and then bringing the actual unit into the map through the editor placing it where you want it to be at the start of a new game save taking the attributes from the XML uh, from the Giants editor and then applying that to your default items XML um, and then you know joining all the parts together there and then when you start a new game save and obviously it would need to be a new game save um, and then this will be in the map for you ready to go for you to carry on uh, what I will do is I'm going to save it again because I'm curious to see if um, it does actually now update that information and tell you how many animals are in there so we'll have a look at that Okay, so if we go into the save game again and uh, go into the items XML, I actually did buy a few more because I wanted to just it for it to show up the differences. Uh, so um, obviously, what I added into the default items XML, and I'll show you the two of those just so you can see uh, the differences here. So if we open this one up as well, <clears throat> you can see on this side. Uh, it doesn't actually mention anything about the animals because I hadn't purchased any but on this particular side it shows module animals um, and then basically the different types of animal that I have purchased um, and their dirt scale so if you particularly wanted to start off a save game um, a new save game with not only the animals in the map or in the husbandry setup but whatever else you could theoretically just um, like I did at the beginning of the video place it in the map buy some animals um, and then save your game go into your save game folder into the items XML and then up the amount of um, product that they have so I could come into here and change all of these depending on what I wanted to start off with so add in a load of grass and um, sorry hay and grass and silage and whatever else uh, or do all of that in game if you wanted to set it all up in game then save the game come out go into your save game folder open up open up the items xml and then literally copy all of that straight out um, so and then just put that directly into your default items xml and then when you start a new game save you'll have all of these animals already in the map um, with their appropriate amount of whatever you choose to give them um, so yeah a, it, I think this is the only way that I could figure out how to actually set this up so you actually have the animals in the map um, as a kind of prefab setup you're still using the placeable spawning mechanic of the game um, which you know it, you could look at it either way um, for me I want to be a little bit more positive about it so uh, doing it this way if you're going to work with the standard um, husbandry set up from the base game maps or the placeable system at least uh, then you're not adding any additional textures into your sample mod map uh, your modded map or whatever else you're just linking everything back directly to the installation folder which everybody will have access to so um, you know that's quite a good thing in my opinion now when it comes to customized uh, animal husbandry areas then you know that's going to be a little bit different that will then require and all of the textures and the i3ds and everything else similar to the biogas facility that i did um in my first video for farm sim 19 so yeah there are ways and means you just have to you know work with that and then um see what you come up with i'm sure wizard thanks very much for watching and i will catch you on the next one